The big retailers haven't reported yet, but the smaller ones have already taught us an important lesson. If you're trying to get away with maintaining high prices here, you're going to lose customers. Very few operators are ever willing to admit their prices are just too darn high. If you acknowledge it without doing anything about it, you're setting yourself up for disappointing numbers going forward. Bye, bye, bye! No. It's not easy to figure out who can get away with keeping prices higher. Chipotle pulled it off because customers think it's worth it, something you hardly ever see. We heard Brinker, the parent of Chili's, tell us about the success they've had with what they call barbell strategy, offering lower price items for more value-conscious consumers and premium items for more affluent customers. Kudos to CEO Kevin Hockman for not making an either-or proposition. That was a good idea. His stock keeps going higher. Now, Yum! stock got hit because it wasn't but it wasn't because of Taco Bell. They offered some outrageously cheap food. The uh, Cravings Value Meal with 10 items under 3 bucks. that looks like it did great. Some of the other divisions, not as good. But McDonald's failed the test because, in my opinion, the burgers now cost too much. They've just gone up in price so much in 2019, so they don't come off as a bargain, something that the home office has to know. But the franchisees seem reluctant to admit. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.